Welcome everyone, I hope you're all doing extremely well. In this video, we are going to talk about data streaming around the world to the Z1 Analyzer. Uh, this will be for purposes such as remote driver training or wanting to see telemetry traces in real time from your driver as they are in a race. Now we have another video which talks about data streaming to the Z1 dashboard and I will put a link in the description below to that video. But this one is going to talk about how you do data streaming with the Z1 Analyzer in version 2020.1. So the first step is in the Z1 Analyzer. So this would be on the machine of the driver. And at this point, uh, I have the Z1 Analyzer up and uh, I'm not actually connected to a SIM at this time. You can either connect the SIM beforehand or afterwards. Uh, it's easier, I think, to connect after you set everything up in the analyzer. So uh, we have the Z1 analyzer running. We click on the settings icon, and then we have our settings dialog, and we choose the internet tab. So this is where you can enter the information about the data stream that you are going to send that someone in the Z1 analyzer will connect to. So you get to give it a name, and a password and select what data you want to send. So for purposes of this uh, video, I'm just going to call it test as the stream name. And the password is optional. Uh, if you don't set a password, then anybody can connect to your data stream. If you do, then obviously you need to know the password to connect. So I'm going to give it a password as well, just test in this case. Uh, and the password is case sensitive. So when you tell whoever's connecting the password, make sure you make sure you tell them uh, the appropriate case of the letters that you're using. So what do you need to send? Uh, for the analyzer, you just need these first two checked. We want these statistics on the car, lap times, things like that. Um, and we want the data of the car. Uh, the analyzer doesn't display information about other cars, so we don't care about location data. Uh, if you were doing the dashboard, you would check this, but for the purpose of just the analyzer, you can leave this one unchecked. So now um, you can click connect, and let's say you have successfully connected to the server. So I click OK, and then click OK to exit the uh, settings dialog. And then here in the server window, you'll see the internet option is highlighted, and it gives me my ping time to the server, which is 85.4 milliseconds. So now uh, my stream is set up and it will be available for someone using the Z1 analyzer to connect to. And the next thing the driver would do is start their SIM uh, and get ready to drive the car as they usually would. So here I am in the Z1 analyzer. And uh, right now I don't have a lap loaded, which is fine, because what I'm going to do is connect to the data stream that we set up uh, on the driver's end in the Z1 server. So to do that, I go to the file menu and I choose connect to stream. This then gives me the list of available data streams I can connect to. And so right now this is the test one. This is the one we set up. Uh, the padlock icon means that uh, it requires a password, and right now the sim, the track, and the car are all set to waiting, which means that the driver has not actually got into the sim at this point. So right now if I can't connect to this because it says waiting. When it changes to the, proper, the appropriate um, sim and track and car, then I'll be able to connect to it. So now that the driver has selected their sim, track, and car, I can see here in the data stream list that uh, it's displayed the sim, the track, and the car, and I can connect to it. Uh, if you don't see this and it still says waiting, it might be because you need to refresh the list. So to do that, you click on this little refresh icon here at the top right, uh, and that will refresh uh, the list with the uh, appropriate information. So uh, now I double click, and as we required a password, I'm gonna enter that, so it's just test, and click OK. So now I get the confirmation I'm connected. I click OK there. Now here I'm in the analyzer uh, and this is just like uh, live telemetry. Uh, the one extra item here on the left is the ping that 
the analyzer has to the server. So in this case, it's uh, 94 and 95 milliseconds. Uh, I can arrange this display any way I want with whichever traces I want. So that will be most useful when I'm looking at the data of the driver. And as this is a live telemetry session to disconnect, I would just choose the stop live telemetry here to end the session. So this is what the uh, analyzer looks like when the driver is actually out on track and doing a lap. It's just like the regular live telemetry and you can see all the data that uh, is available to you from the sim uh, that the driver is driving in. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to remotely connect to a data stream using the Z1 analyzer. And if you have a commercial license, just like with regular live telemetry, you can have a pre-recorded base lap loaded and have the live telemetry on the data stream being overlaid on that base recorded lap. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video.